what you're about to see is something we have wanted to share for a long time. We finally met the right people to help us tell this story. The story of the street dogs of Gotsamui. Ever since we moved to the island in August 2020, we have noticed there are a lot of stray dogs. We even heard about a pier in the south of the island, which is known to be a home for abandoned dogs. So join us today as we learn more about why there are so many street dogs in Samui and what the locals here are doing to help them. guys wow you are so excited to see me huh oh, wow. how many dogs do you think there are here uh, at the moment there's about 136 yeah in this from the start of the strip here right down to the bottom wow. about 136 roughly yeah um, prior to COVID there used to be 60 to 70 but then once COVID kicked in and more and more people had to leave the island every week there was it just kept creeping up the numbers the numbers the numbers and it got to a point where yeah it's so yeah. do people like come here to this spot to I, drop off their unfortunately pet? yeah it's a well known oh, spot okay. having said that we all would prefer they bring them here because we know the dogs will get looked after whereas some of the dogs that get dumped in the jungle it's a terrible slow right. horrible death for them in my so because it's quite like well known among Thai people that they like to drop off their pets, like dump them at the temples. Yes, yeah, yep. Like a lot yeah. of temples in Thailand also mm -hmm. facing the same problem where people like don't want to take care of their dogs anymore or cats, they just go to the temple and leave it, yep. leave them there. Yeah, um, so we started building these sort of recycled shelters. Mm -hmm. So we just use old pallets and then some old donated roofing whack it all together, put it on the truck, we'll bring it down, um, yeah, plonk them here, because one, it obviously gives the dogs protection when it's super sunny or during monsoon season, but it also stops the food wastage, yeah, so, which is a big factor, you know what I mean? Rainy so, season is pretty crazy oh, yeah, here. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your routine, like how often do you come? Uh, we come, we come every day because um, we live so close. But technically, we do three days a week, two to three days a week. Mm -hmm. um, Paul and I do three days a week, and then uh, internal partner and friends will pick up a day. Alan and Regine will pick up a day. So essentially, uh, someone from the group comes every day. Everyone brings two bags, 40 kilos of food. Mm -hmm. um, we bring 350 liters of water. Buddy. Just that white container if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Thanks, mate. Look like I'm struggling, but I'm not. It's not heavy at all. I call this one beautiful. <laughs> you are such beautiful, a sweetie. aren't you? Wow, aren't you? you are so beautiful. beautiful. Hey Daisy. Uh, dumped about a year ago with two puppies. Are her puppies still around? Uh, got adopted. Yep. So. You're a good girl, even though you're trouble. I call him Big Nose. Big Nose. <laughs> He looks like he works out. He does, he's very stocky, doesn't he? <laughs> ah. And what do you put 
Yeah. In this is, mixture. Uh, minced chicken in there. Mm -hmm. um, rice, obviously. Mixed vegetables, coconut oil, and fish oil. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah. they love it. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> so we predominantly give these to the, the smaller dogs. Mm -hmm. Because obviously the alpha dog gets to eat first. So. And also you use that kind of as a medium to put some medication yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we have tin food, mm. but today we've got a big batch of the, the rice. Come on down. There you are. And this one is a baby still? Uh, probably about six months I think beautiful you need some treatment good girl uh, uh, uh. just slip the um, anti-tick tablet in the food so he'll be right for the next couple of months now wow you so. guys have to you guys pay so much attention to the details yeah. and it's like yep. you know every single correct every yeah. single one of and the dogs we, we um, log all the dogs in our phone so that um, and then we if anyone treats one of the dogs we um, let the other crew know so mm -hmm. no one double doses a dog everything's yeah. covered and then we can also um, verify when they're next due for their medication mm -hmm. the tick prevention so a kind gentleman on the truck just drove by and gave um, them a thousand baht uh, to help towards feeding these dogs so nice so for that thousand baht we can uh, buy two of these 20 kilo bags and that's essentially yeah helps us so much um, to give you a bit of a breakdown um, dog and cat rescue in Tellingham, they donate uh, one bag a day to us, but um, unfortunately due to the dog numbers now, one bag doesn't cut it because you can see how quickly we go through it. Yeah. So uh, um, we get one don donated bag per day, but then everyone has to go and fork out and, and buy an additional bag to cover all the dogs. So little gestures like that mm -hmm. literally help us and the dogs so much, it's unbelievable. So yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really unexpected, but, <laughs> but very welcome. <laughs> So recently there were a bunch of puppies that were dropped off here at the pier and we have some special treats for them today. Goat's what is milk? this one here? Goat's milk? Goat's milk. Oh, fly! Oh! Oh, the puppies are coming! <gasps> they are so cute and so tiny! <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's so many. <laughs> oh, that's the mom. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. How many puppies do we have here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten puppies. Oh my gosh! Really? Hi. Really stuck? It's stuck? 
You still got rice on your nose. Oh my god, I can feel I can feel her heartbeat super fast. She's so warm. See, she's so cute, I would want to take her home, but the responsible thing for us is not to. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Take both of you. <laughs> oh wow, this so one's a lot. Heavy. This one is a lot heavier. <laughs> Hi. You were gonna wow. say something. I say the respons responsible thing for us is not to take home a dog, though, because we travel so much and we won't be home with them. But I think what we can do is come and feed them and. If you were in Samui and you were able to adopt one of these dogs, then you can always come down to the pier and do so too. The puppies are so cute, but all of the big ones are really friendly and really nice as well. <laughs> what are we doing here? Why are we giving her a baby powder? This is a uh, Chicken flame removal because <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. That's why it's hot. <laughs> it's not like prickly yeah. heat powder. No, no, no. <laughs> you can see. Look, you can see all the fleas. Oh, Where? Give me the next one. Yeah. Would be the next oh, one. this one. Yeah. See, there's fleas. So this will make them jump off. You said the yep. fleas. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Big soupy. Next. <laughs> Yeah, oh. You see all the ticks? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like little fleas. Yeah, you see them. And their bellies are quite bloated Spawning. too because yep. um, probably there's worms. And we'll do that today. Yeah. Well. Oh that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably so like. you see the father? We don't know who the fathers are. Maybe a one night stand. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Come to the pier. And <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come to Gossamui for holidays, <laughs> hooked up. <laughs> this one wants two kilos, Gorge. Oh. Yeah, one uh -huh. I'll put in the cage and then we'll keep it in there. Uh -huh. um, good job. <laughs> what is that again? That is dewormer. Oh. So that you get rid of all their intestinal worms and that way they become a little bit skinnier. What does it say? Oh. Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, open up. Oh. Yummy! <laughs> this is like you. <laughs> he stuck his tongue out after. Yeah. It's like numb. Oh. Do you have like a rough idea of how many stray dogs are on the island? Wow. Uh, <laughs> That's a big one. Um, it's definitely in the thousands easily because the Soy Dog Foundation come here every couple of years and they do a, an island-wide desexing program. Um, so if people thought there were a lot of dogs here now, you should have seen it a few years ago because I think the last time Soy Dog were here did their desexing program, they did I think roughly uh, just under 3,000 dogs. I could be wrong, but it's around. A, it's a big number. And then the, the time they came previously before that, they did, I think, triple that. So you could imagine what the numbers would be now if they hadn't have done this dissection program for the past couple of years. So, and that's really important really, to keep it under yeah. control, yeah. the number yeah. of dogs. Come on, everyone. <laughs> We had a fantastic morning learning about the amazing work Rod and Jules are doing for the dogs at the pier, but they said there is someone else we should meet. To better understand the scale of the street dog problem here on the island, we're here to meet Elfie, a kind-hearted lady who is currently taking care of 559 dogs. She runs a private animal shelter called Elfie's World that is hidden deep in the coconut forest of Gatsumui. <coughs> Do you have a lot of dogs going abroad? Yes, sometimes more, sometimes less, but like in the past, let's say 
seven, eight years, we sell about 200 dogs. Wow. And I think for me alone is a good achievement. Mm -hmm. And this is actually our main goal. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to take the dogs in. Of course, we want to take, we want to make them healthy and happy mm -hmm. and safe. But the ultimate goal, of course, is to have to get them to a new to family, find a home. to a new life. Yeah. Yeah. And every time this is the biggest goal and the, the best gift we get in return for the work. He has a hole here. Where does he have a hole there? A hole here goes to inside. That's when, uh, probably from a bite, Oh. That's when we got him and from this wound a big tuber grew all over his head. Oh wow. Yeah, and he got chemo and the eye was it was completely covered. And he, then he got chemotherapy for almost two months and every time it grew slow, small and it's gone and the eye underneath was okay. It's actually my first time at an animal shelter so I was a bit nervous because I thought that it would be a lot of dogs coming at you but it's really cool to see that they all have so much space to roam around. The dogs here are in like good living conditions and the place is clean and they're happy and they have a lot of space. This is my first time at the animal shelter too and I have never seen anything like this and it feels so good to know that there are people like Elfie and Rod and Jules taking care of these stray dogs. Yeah, he was uh, strolling the Kosabui for many months <laughs> and I saw Ooh. him running in every shop. Everyone was scared of him. And I asked the taxi driver, what about him? He said, since two weeks he's up, running up and down the road. Oh. And I said, you think I can take him home? He said, yeah, take him. <laughs> and he gave me an old cable he found yeah. there and I put it around him and I walked <laughs> and then suddenly everyone said, oh, beautiful. And when he first was alone, everyone was like, <laughs> oh, he is very beautiful He's though. He's a very independent dog, you know. <laughs> they can jump. Yeah. Sometimes they just <laughs> knock you out. <laughs> She you could go with you if you want her. You're going to Europe yeah, soon. because she's so affectionate. That's why we made her paper. So if someone wants her, she can go quickly. But do you speak uh, whatever language that, uh, <laughs> that you're going to go? <laughs> this is incredible because as a Thai, we were brought up to be afraid of street dogs. They could bite you or they carry diseases, but Coming here, seeing all the work that these guys are doing and how friendly these dogs are, it's, it's amazing. So there is a story behind how these cuties came to the shelter. So these dogs came around 10 years ago because Alfie got a call about some illegal dog meat um, trade activity happening in Isan of Thailand, which is the northeast side of Thailand. And she rescued over 300, no, 400 dogs and brought them here to the shelter. So some of them are still here like these guys and some of them have been adopted, but it's a really heartwarming story that she shared with us. Since you're from Isan, do you know anything about the illegal dog meat trade industry in Thailand? The province of Sakonakon was popular uh, in Thailand for people eating dog meat but I don't think it's the same nowadays I don't think there's any more like well, openly might not be but I'm sure there are still people in Isan still eating dog but it's more looked down upon now you think yeah yeah it's not uh, it's not something that you want to be uh, bragging about or even associated, associated with, with. Are you happy? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. She, she, he's happy. Or she's happy. Look at her tail. You recognize me on YouTube? That's why. Oh. Oh yeah. We just want to say thank you again for having us over. Thank you so much for your kind interest and that you gave many hugs to our dogs. <laughs> they were very happy to see you. 
we well, learned so much today. Great. And um, we'll share it with our viewers and hopefully you'll also get more visitors to come give some hugs to the yes. dogs too. This was such an eye-opening experience and we're so happy to be able to bring you along and learn more about this problem. It was sad to see the number of street dogs that are in Samoy, but it was also super heartwarming to see the people who are really trying to help these dogs out. And if you have the means to make a small donation to help their efforts, we will leave all their information in the description box below. We learned so much today and we hope you did too. Thank you again for watching. This video is a little bit different from what we usually do, but we will be back on the road and next week we will see you in Kala. See you in Kala. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Bye. This guy, look at him. <laughs> Do you have your special voice when you speak to uh, your cat? Do I? Yeah. Like a shibir. Shibir, no claws. Shibir. Are you shibir? Shishi? Shishi, you gotta love eye booger. You're not camera ready.